A new breakthrough in Antarctica, scientists' groundbreaking discovery 400 feet below the ice has been revealed. The scientists were stunned by the results of a 400-foot drill into the ice sheet, revealing perhaps a glimpse into Earth's future. Callum Hoare, Express UK reports. We know the scientists are always doing experiments down there. Antarctica, the planet's southernmost continent, and the South Pole, is home to some 1,000 scientists, and they're attempting to understand more about Earth's history and the effects of climate change. But one program, known as the Antarctica Drilling Project, and Drill for short, took things a step further by drilling more than 400 feet into the ice sheet, exposing a shocking past. Their experiment was shown during NOVA's The Secrets of Antarctica documentary. That's where they hope to uncover more about the past periods of global warming and cooling. The narrator said, unlike drilling through sea ice, which is just 26 feet thick, the ice shelf here is 400 feet at least. But that's only the beginning and no one has ever dr drilled through an ice shelf. And it presents a challenge because they float up and down with the tide. So you've got to deal with vertical and sideways changes. And eventually the drill pipe will get bent and you need to drill through a thick layer of ice that's constantly moving without breaking. To confront this challenge, the Andrill team invents a new tool, a hot water drill, and this marvel of engineering is a moving ring of heat that blasts jets of steaming water to melt the wide hole so the drill can operate freely through 400 feet of the shifting ice. Once again, time is so precious that the team has to work around the clock, not only retrieving cores but also analyzing them. The narrator explained that to reveal the groundbreaking discovery, many thanks, uh, he made thanks to the revolutionary drill. He said an 80 feet core dates back about 3 million years and is closely examined. 80 feet is 3 million years, can you imagine? It contains microfossils of single celled animals known as forams, and they are from the crucial warm period called the Pliocene, and these tiny shells are pre uh, precise indicators of the ocean temperatures at that time. Dr. Gavin Dunbar from Antarctic Research Center explained the sample of forams may reveal a shock to Earth's path. He said these guys are about the size of a grain of sand and because the same species live through time we can use the chemistry and mo molecule examples to calibrate the ancient examples and we can measure two metals, magnesium and calcium, that are in the ocean that get incorporated into their little shells that process depends on the temperature of the ocean. So if we know those levels, we can determine the temperature that the ocean had at the time that these little forams lived. And what this is telling us is that the temperatures were three to four, maybe even five degrees above what we have at the present. Now it's shocking. They found many uh, that that may mean that Earth once suffered global warming levels considerably worse than what we see now. But more research needs to be done to confirm the, uh, confirm the results. The Andrill project involves scientists from Germany, Italy, New Zealand, and the United States, and is based in the McMurdo Station. $30 million program has, uh, this is, uh, since achieved the operational goal of retrieving the core record of at least 17 million years, filling crucial gaps left by previous drilling projects. So you can understand how important this drill was. They got more information. It's now up to the scientists to study each sample and come up for a future hypothesis. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue 
my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.